Welcome to Backpage Blues Part 2. It's time for my favourite part of the week, and that is where we answer your questions. I'm still joined by Charlie the Hurricane Skillen from the Mail Online, and I suppose we should make a start. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to start this week. Uh, Callum Reid on Twitter has asked, given the Gary Cahill news just signed a new deal, uh, go to Backpage Blues Part 1. Um, what is your favourite Gary Cahill moment at Chelsea? God, there's been a few. As you pointed out in the uh, previous episode, he has won everything. But the moment that stays with me forever, and it's fresh in the memory, having been to White Hart Lane the other day. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Yeah. yeah. That volley that he scored at White Hart Lane was fantastic. In a 4-2 game, we really played well. It was a day that I fell in love with Wild Matter, but the goal <laughs> scored by Gary Cahill yeah, was Yeah, it was like was a scissor kick, wasn't it? it was yeah, it was great. Out of nothing as well. Mm. Just pinged it in on the volley. It was a centre-forwards goal from a centre-half. Wonderful. Yeah, I, you know, I... I'm not sure I can better that, to be honest. Um, I, I just think he maybe doesn't get enough credit for his role in the in the Champions League run yeah. when uh, the year we won it. So I'm, I'm going to say semi-final against Barcelona. True. Just do you know, do you know what else teams. deserves an honourable mention, actually? I went to the pre-season tour in the States mm. and he scored a last-minute equaliser against Barcelona. Bearing in mm. mind, it's a friendly. He, he put his neck on the line, broke his nose, mm. all yeah, to yeah. score a goal, all to score a goal, that, that didn't effectively yeah, means yeah. nothing. Yeah. And and I think that that sort of level of commitment mm -hmm. is something that you need in the team. And if and if a few more of them had that sort of display, yeah. we probably wouldn't be where we're languishing where we are in the league. I think that's fair enough. Um, I will move on. Sam Chipness has just asked us via Skype. Sam, it was lovely to talk to you in Skype. Cheers for everything. Um, he just wants some detail on the Ruben Loftus cheek loan thing. Do we think that's going to come off, or do we feel like he'll be uh, a Chelsea player after January? We talked about this a couple of weeks ago on Backpage Blues. Um, I think he'll still be a Chelsea player in January. I hope that's the case. Obviously, he got a few minutes against Spurs on Sunday. Yeah. Um, Pitiful amount of time, well, though, wasn't it? Yeah, but you know, I, I think he's slowly sort of working his way back into the reckoning. Obviously, Fabregas isn't playing too well. Um, I, I think Mourinho, p probably purely for his own, for his own peace of mind, will mm. want him in and around the squad. Obviously, if we buy a midfielder in January, he'll be the one that goes out. He, he's. He's upset with the amount of football he's playing, as I as I know a lot of Chelsea fans. And rightly are. so. Yeah, I know. I think that. You know, I I think that's fair enough. At the minute, I think he will be a Chelsea player in January. Good news. Uh, James Taylor on Twitter has asked: um, Is there a future at the club for Bubba Rahman? He sees the Bubba Rahman situation of being replicated as the one that we saw last year with Felipe Luis. Um, you know, it, it's a good comparison to draw. Obviously, they're both left backs. Um, I don't see a future for Bubba Rahman at Chelsea. Um, it's a massive sticking point for Mourinho, actually. Um, this was not a Mourinho deal. It's not a player that Mourinho sort of sought out and, and wanted to bring into Chelsea. Um, the way he's not settled at the club, on or off the pitch, you know, I, I, I think he's had a couple of good games. There's been a couple of games in which he's been dreadful. Mm. Um, you know, th that's obviously to be expected because he's a very young player coming into a new league, obviously, you know, from another country. Um, I, I don't see a future for him. I don't think Mourinho really rates him as a, as a top level he's player. He's twenty he million pound fullback. Yeah, and you know, it, it's it's. It, it's the person who really doesn't reflect well on is Michael Emanalo. His position is under a lot of scrutiny at the minute, you know, in the club hierarchy. Um, he's the one that sanctioned this deal, and it, it's one of the prime reasons that he's under scrutiny. Well, if the, if this goes the way that you're suggesting it might, if Bubba Rahman ends up not being a Chelsea player, we've yeah. spent £20 million pounds on it, mm. something isn't right. Some, well, some, I mean, that's, no, at no, some no, point that's along that's the chain, but from, you know, from, from Rahman pulling on a Chelsea mm. shirt, everything that's happened... It, from the last time he pulled on a shirt in the German league, some somebody there is at fault. That somebody well, and, needs and, to be to blame. And, there. Yeah, and look, Emanalo's neck is on the line with this deal. Right. Um, okay. So you know that he's under massive scrutiny. The Babarama situation is is one that has annoyed Mourinho massively this right. season. One, one of uh, you know a, a number of things. Um, next question from uh, Sushil Amsan on Twitter. <laughs> That's my handwriting. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's so Sahil and sorry, and he wants to know Begovic or <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mate. Beg <laughs> Begovic I'll, or I'll, Courtois. I'll, I'll just finish off, shall I? No, I, look, I <laughs> go for it. Begovic yeah. or Courtois. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, look, I, you know. Oh, bro, come on. No, go for it. I'm sorry. Come on. Uh, I actually think Courtois will start against Bournemouth. Um, obviously, you know, it, it's been a massive, massive blow to have him out for so long. H how do you think Begovic has done? Very well. <laughs> See, I'm not... He, he's performed admirably. 
I, you know, he 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 made a load of great saves in the Tottenham game. You know, we're mates, so that's always what I'm going to say now. Have you seen the Have you seen the video? I played What's against that? him in Star Trek video. Oh yeah, of course, of course, yeah. yeah. You're obviously, you're always going to say that. Um, no, I, I think he's I think he's done really well, but I I just think he's not. He's obviously not at Courtois level. I think he's he's made some great saves, but I think that the whole defence has better organisation when Courtois is involved. And the good news is that Courtois has been trained in full training for quite a few weeks now. I fully expect him to start the Bournemouth game. Excellent. Um, I'll ask you this one as well. And it's from uh, Dan CJ on Twitter. Uh, what's some news on the Charlie Masonda thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Come on. You've got to pull it together. Sorry. Um, Charlie masonda has got a new agent, and that new agent is A.G. Ward, who, um, who you know, famously or infamously um, set up Raheem Sterling's deal to Manchester City. You know, he's, he, he's an agent that, that creates a lot of stories. You know, he's an agent that looks to get the best deal for his clients, which is obviously his job. Um, he is a very, very talented young player. In fact, he might even be pushing in to, to get into the Belgium squad for the Euros next summer. Obviously, we haven't even seen him in a, in a Chelsea first team shirt. I would like to see that very, very soon. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, the Mail reported in the summer, I think, that Arsenal are very interested in Masonda. So I'd be a little bit wary of Masonda's future at Chelsea. Right, well, fingers crossed we sign him up because we know that he's a fantastic talent. Guys, thank hang you on, very hang much. On. Hang on, I've, I've got a question this week. Go for uh, it. What about this haircut? I didn't know that everybody would actually want me to go through with that. So I've, I've put it to the vote. I massively lost a vote. I'm going to sort it out tonight. Get the Clippers out? No. Number one all over? Absolutely not. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be minimal. If, well, actually, we're going to have to change the style is what we agreed. Um, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, click the subscribe button and comment below. Let us know exactly what you think. Comment what Star Wars hair should be. <laughs> Go on you, please. Welcome to Backpage Blues. I'm joined by Charlie, the Hurricane Skinner from the Mail Online, and I am in a fantastic mood. 